my Gemini, Miami and Gemini, yeah. What's going on, baby? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot Channel. This is your first time viewing. Hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time viewing. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot, but I definitely am going to cuss. It's my shit, okay? Um, thank you so much for all of the likes, shares, and subscribes, the comments, the love. Who appreciates it? Uh, this girl, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. Keep it coming. It definitely keeps me uplifted and inspired. I tried to meditate on y'all energy yesterday, and all hell broke loose on the inside of me. I began to cry a little bit, thinking about my past. I began to feel optimistic about all of this within a matter of seven minutes, y'all. I was swamped to cry, think about my past. Because I got Gemini Venus, okay? I wanted to scream. Just a little bit. I wanted to fight a little bit. I wanted to get some money a little bit. I, I didn't know if I wanted to go stalk somebody or hide up, un, hide up under like a big ass bed blanket so they wouldn't stalk me. I didn't know what the hell I wanted to do. So I feel like intuitively, Gemini, you don't know which way is left, which way is right. I feel that a lot of y'all are entering same-sex relationships. I'm speaking to somebody older who's scared that someone's going to judge you, worry about what other people say. And I feel like y'all spouses, the your other, they just kind of slipping right out your slipping right out from your grips because you give a damn about what other people gonna say. Fuck them people. Are they fucking financing or feeding you? If the answer is no, fuck them, Jack. Okay. Um, I will say. Also, some of y'all have family dynamics with someone. I feel strong water and strong earth energy around that. And ultimately, you don't want to be the destructor of your family. Also, although you want to be happy. Some of y'all have recently fell in love with someone who is tied to an old friend. Or this could be you. Some of y'all could have fell in love with your baby mama's uh <laughs> best friend or your baby daddy's uh old associate i don't know but still again a lot of y'all wanted to be happy maybe y'all associate you know with mutual people that this person is still friends with and maybe y'all don't want it to get back y'all worry about you know how your kids gonna feel about it especially if you're co-parenting with someone and this is going on you worried about you know what they gonna tell my kids and this type of stuff but I have one thing, you know, and my angels keep wanting me to tell Gemini this, y'all. Let God be who he is. There are certain things behind the scenes working in your favor that you have no clue about, okay? Um, this is my second take at trying to do Gemini video. I actually had my son come in here. He's a Gemini. I try to do it. He came in so serious talking about some spirit cards. Why my baby called Tarot spirit cards? I don't know. But I, I go with it, okay? Mama, I want to flip the spirit cards. Now, I let him come here and give his introduction and say it. He said something so beautiful, too. He said that, he said, Gemini, we are all son children. My baby knows. He's always reading. He knows, okay? He said, Gemini, we are son children. Other people are going to act crazy. You just have to bless them, love them, and thank God, even if you have to lose them, because they're going to teach you something, okay? That came from the mouth of the eight-year-old. So, balance is imperative. Trust your intuition, Gemini, and fuck what other people got to say. All right? That's my intuitive message from the 1st to the 15th of July, 2018. All right? Nothing is even making a decision about coming from behind these cars or not. Because I really don't need these cars. <laughs> I am just really trying to um, compromise a little bit. Plus, I don't like... I think with using my cards, I feel like I can resonate with more people um, versus me going intuitively because it's only so much energy I can pick up, right? You know? Even with this, it's a general, it may or may not resonate. If it does, um, beautiful comment, like the video, subscribe, share. If it does not, you don't have to be ugly if it does not, you know, resonate with you. Um, just keep it moving, all right? And also, you can also get a personal if you if it resonates just a little bit. That information can be found in the description below, okay? So let's rock. Whew. It's laundry day. I'm I'm so used and but Mocha had to come. Usually I don't wear my city shirts, but it's laundry day, so I have to come. So H Town, okay? Shout out to the UK. India, um, Brazil, Belize, all of the places that watches my videos. 
Thank you so much. I've never been just yet, but I'm on the way, okay? I'm on the way, and I'm manifesting that. Hopefully, y'all will get y'all manifestations on for that Gemini New Moon. Uh-oh, in June. Because I definitely was, and I wrote it down on the sheet of paper about 10 things that I wanted to manifest in it. You better know it. Uh-oh. All right, I told Pisces, but y'all also got some past energy when to come back and say, hey, girl, hey, hey, boo, hey. All right. Okay. Gemini, my Gemini. All right, Gemini. Busting out the gate from the 1st to the 15th of July. I do see a lot of y'all are going to be celebrating, okay? Some of y'all could be celebrating new love with the water sign, okay? Or some of y'all could be finding out that y'all in a three-party situation with the water sign that you really want to move forward and marriage, marry, okay? Some of y'all could be finding out a three-party situation around your water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, as well as yourself, um, and a Aries or a Taurus in the building, okay? A baby could come out of that situation, all right? Y'all let me know how to mess. Somebody could be pregnant as well, Gemini. Congratulations. Congratulations, it's in the building. Some of y'all got a tourist or Virgo baby daddy. Congratulations, okay? A baby mama, whatever. Um, I do see some of y'all are crying over spilled milk, milk with that water sign on this. When this shit come out about this damn baby, okay? For some of y'all, for some of y'all, this baby is a catalyst, this is a catalytic situation for you to move forward from somebody um, where there is an issue with the equal give and take, okay? Some of y'all could actually be feeling, I ain't going to say cry, but I am going to say crying over spilled milk. I feel that because some of y'all are really reflecting over your past, uh, possibly, especially especially with the water sign, okay? Uh, strong emphasis on the Pisces, strong, strong emphasis on Pisces. I do see a lot of y'all have a lot of one night stand energy coming in. Uh, we're dealing with people from your past. They don't want shit, y'all. People from your past is coming back saying, I'm sorry, I want to work it out. I know that you and my soulmate, we're going to build, we're going to do this. Some of them, okay, observe. Most of them is bullshit, okay? This is what they want. They want to smash and dash, come through fast with all of the passionate ride in on this big ass bird, and they ain't got, they ain't even bring no luggage. You see this shit? He rode in this big ass bird. He ain't got no damn look. He don't got nothing to say. How you gonna spend the night? How you gonna move in? You on all of this shit? You ain't bring nothing but a toothbrush and your drawers. Right? Let me tell you something. Don't do me, okay? That's what Gemini gonna say. Hey, don't do me. Don't try it. You tried it, okay? Because some of y'all, some of y'all gonna be going back to jobs that y'all had in the past. Y'all have opportunities opening back up from the 1st to the 15th of July. Maybe y'all walked away from a job, I feel like, in the month of June. Um, but some of y'all are going to be going back to an old job, something that you was passionate about, okay? And you are going to be finding that new final abundance. Maybe since you left, they upgraded on the pay, okay? Look at y'all. Some of y'all, some of y'all, you have a baby with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, strong emphasis on the Sagittarius. I feel like if you're having issues in your relationship, especially if you're dealing with a water sign or earth sign, there is definitely issues with giving, with equal give and take. I feel like somebody's giving more to getting money than they are to love, okay? I feel like for some of y'all, if you're already dealing with a water sign, they could have a, a fire sign coming back, okay? All of a sudden trying to build and all of that shit, especially if y'all have re re receptivity, <sighs> reciprocity issues, okay, in your relationship already. I feel like there's a fire sign, every single sad from from one of y'all past that has been stalking the shit out of y'all and they know that your relationship is having reciprocity issues or your person especially strong emphasis on water could have told them okay that they y'all working on building something however um maybe this water sign is giving more than you or you giving more than the water sign but so, it, their big emphasis on the past because somebody is literally focused on their money okay and another person is focused on love and you're trying to balance that shit out even though you have a lot of options and this person is yep 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 some of y'all are still trying to be paid, passionate about your relationship and make things work okay but some of y'all who have been busting your ass and not seeing no results, okay? You're definitely going from this Eight of Pentacles here to this Nine of Pentacles. So some of y'all are going to be getting promotions during this time, okay? 
Let's get it. You might clarify. But yeah, on with the seven of cups, I feel like people coming back from your past, y'all, but they don't want shit. They just want to get some booty and deal. Hit the dough. Come and let me know because that energy is strong as hell. Whatever fire sign you walked away from your past, baby, either you want to come in and put that thing on them or they want to come in and put that thing on you. Okay. Three of cups. Please clarify this three of cups. Y'all know I'm goofy. Clarify this three of cups. Eight of pentacles. Okay. So I feel like whatever you've been working on for the last eight months, okay, eight weeks, eight months, some of y'all are working on building a relationship or working towards marriage with the water sign. However, y'all finna have either some interruption coming in from this person with a, a interruption and I feel like it's from the other person's side. From a water sign, I say water sign, from a earth sign or fire sign. Okay? Empress, all right. But some of y'all, if you ha if you have children with a person, okay, I feel like there's not an equal give and take, or you feel like you're giving more than the other person, okay. But I feel like, um, especially if you're dealing with a Taurus, okay, or a Virgo or an Aries, you feel like you you're giving, giving, giving to this person. And yes, this could be someone you have a child with, or yes, this could be something that you're trying to create. Especially if you're trying to create going to business with somebody and you have a business partner, I feel like especially if this building this building business partner is a earth sign i feel like somebody's giving more than the other person and somebody is gonna walk away from this shit somebody's gonna be like you know what fuck this definitely somebody was trying to work on something with the water sign from the past um and i feel like it could have been a pisces strong emphasis on the pisces but i feel like you're trying to work on something maybe that you had uh kind of invested in in the past but i feel like this person is showing you why you shouldn't have tried to pick up them damn three cups on the floor. But don't sweat, my pet baby. You still got two cups that you holding on to. Take your motherfucker two cups and get the marching. You got two hands to hold them in. Get the marching, okay? Because I feel like some of y'all, this can be salvaged. This can be saved, okay? But some of y'all, it can't because this person, when you take that damn wine and you put it back in them cups, you try to take your finger. First off, in order to get it back in them cups, you're going to have to take the dirt. Let me show you. In order to get it back in them cups, you're going to have to take this dirt. Literally. See this dirt? You're going to have to take this damn dirt and take your hand with the wine and scoop it back up in the cup. So even if you have the original substance in the cup, you got a whole lot. You got more dirt in that shit than you have substance. Okay? You walked away for a reason. Remember that. Some of y'all, this could be an earth sign um, as well. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I was going to clarify the single ones and both of them still. I'm going to take them all, baby. <clears throat> yeah. For those of you who are dealing with a fire sign, how, who I feel like you and this person don't know how to heal to talk to one another, okay? Especially if you have children with this person. For some of y'all, y'all are trying to hold on to the dynamic of your family. But some of y'all, it's time for that cycle to end, okay? I feel like some of y'all who are dealing with Taurus and Leo, Y'all finna walk away from their ass, okay? I feel like there's a lot of passion with this person. But outside of the passion, it's not moving nowhere. It's not going. It's staying stagnant. I feel like this person could be very childish by the mouth and by the shit that they put their fucking interest and their attention into. Like, you would rather put more attention into arguing with me over what I said than the actual point behind what's going on so we can grow and move on from shit, okay? That's what I feel the energy is around that fire sign. Every little sad, if this is you dealing with fire. <clears throat> Please show me the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, some of y'all are not even speaking up for y'all but Some of y'all is definitely a Pisces who might possibly feels like they're giving more uh, financially than you are to the relationship. And on food, this person don't know whether to stay or to just focus on their abundance because I feel like this person got a lot of options. Some of y'all got a lot of options. Boy, I got so many. Hey, man, I got so many ways, ways to get. Yeah, some of y'all. <clears throat> Some of y'all are going to find newfound abundance, okay, after possibly just focusing on what it is that makes you happy, your passion. Some of y'all have a Leo Aries Sagittarius in your life, and maybe this person only deals with you or you only deal with this person due to money, okay, even though this person has a lot of options. Some of y'all want love. Okay, and maybe you're getting tired of this situation where we only just fucking around, we only fucking get money. Maybe I want some more, more maybe I want more than that. Okay, yeah, I'm passionate about you, but I want to build something. I want to grow. 
I want you to add as much to this relationship, bring much to the relationship as I do, and you're not doing so. The Seven of Cups, yeah. So some of y'all are going to try and move new with someone from your past. Strong emphasis on water and fire. Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of y'all are going to move new with this person, possibly after finding out about children, okay? Um, some of y'all, you're thinking that you're going to move new and build something with somebody. However, they only want sex, okay? And from the 1st to the 15th of July, you're going to find it out. Some of y'all are going to be... In the taking on the energy of the Queen of Swords with this damn Knight of Wands. Some of y'all got a, a younger uh, Aries Leo Sag or Aries Leo Sag that can come in and give you all the passion, but they can't commit. This person has commitment issues. And you're going to let their ass know, look, what you going to do? You're going to get, you're going to shit or get off the pot because I'm about over it. And I feel like whatever it is that you're waiting to hear from, for whatever it was that you were building, because some of y'all got waiting to hear about some money coming in, that money is coming in. I feel like it's going to come in closer to. Um, the August side of things, it may come in still into July, but it's going to be like closer towards the August, uh, end of July. Okay. Some of y'all are definitely moving away from y'all past and just look, turning your back on your past and just moving forward. You know what I'm saying? I have this option. Some of y'all got a stable option. Like I know that if I choose to just focus on love, you my bad. Some of y'all got a a possible. Some of y'all got one in the possible. To my space players, y'all know about one in the possible. Some of y'all got one in the possible. But you're definitely turning your back on the past. Especially if this person is a fire sign. Every Leo Sag. Yeah, y'all definitely going to be moving away. Okay, possibly from a fire energy. Some of y'all are moving away from another air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like this is Gemini moving away from a fire sign due to sneaky shit. Your intentions for me ain't right. Or this could be, um, if you're dealing with somebody, some of y'all partners could be leaving y'all for a fire sign. I hate to say it, but it's here. Okay? Um, but it's just going to put you in a meditative state. You ain't lost nothing, Gemini. You ain't lost. I, my granny used to say, you let people... Do okay, be who they rather be, or be who they want to be, so they show you who they rather be. Let people do what, what they want to do, so they show you what they rather do. Okay, what is the total, the ultimate outcome for my Gemini? Give me three cards from the first of the 15. Thank you, Spirit. This is definitely a Sagittarius. Some of y'all are going to hang in there through this situation and just try to fight. Some of y'all going to set out for Pisces. Um, some of y'all are going to be cutting off the Sagittarius. Some of y'all are going to possibly be cutting off the air signs, I hate to say it, here you go again, um, some of y'all actually might get cut off by Sagittarius for Pisces, or some of y'all may cut off a Pisces for Sagittarius, but it's definitely in this place, I feel like some of y'all might cut off both of their heads and just focus on what you're trying to build and work, okay, what you're trying to work at, give me some clarifiers for my Gemini babies. Hey man, why is the hangman here, Spirit? Definitely. Some of y'all are going the karmic balance. I feel like the karmic skills have been balanced, possibly with the Sagittarius. Some of y'all are possibly divorcing a Sagittarius, okay? Some of y'all have a Taurus that's trying to hang around, okay, and try to balance things out. Some of y'all are hanging in a situation that needs balance, okay? And that balance is definitely going to be restored. But in order to restore it, some of y'all going to have to cut somebody out. Possibly a Sagittarius or a Pisces. Some of y'all are not being patient, okay, in the situation. Some of y'all are being patient with knowing that you're going to have to cut somebody off, okay? Let's see. This moon card. What is this moon card? It's the Hermit, okay? So some of y'all are currently in introspection mode. What do I do, okay? What the fuck do I do? Some of y'all got secrets around the Virgo, all right? But what do I do? What is there? Do I want to pull back from the situation because I know that I'm not getting what I want, it's about you getting what you want. You worked for it. You worked hard for it, okay? So why deal with a sneaky motherfucker? The seven of swords in both dicks, okay? Why deal with a sneaky motherfucker? You deserve more than that. In the month of July, y'all gonna be cutting off a sneaky motherfucker. Or this could be you, Gemini. But somebody ain't having it, alright? At the bottom of the day, I got a night of raw, so... Some of y'all, they go that <laughs> Sagittarius keeps showing his face, okay, or her face. They go to Sagittarius. Somebody's charging in for either you or your partner, Gemini. And I feel like if it's for you, it can't be taken, right? If you for somebody, you shall not be moved, right? So a lot of y'all finna find out what people loyalty at in July, okay? 
angels could have given me an angel message on the first of the of July. My Gemini. My Gemini baby. Yeah, balance, Gemini. Y'all need a balance. Balance the situation out, make a logical decision, strategize. Amber, give it to God. Hello. Beautiful card though. Look at that. Amber. Give it to God. Take a deep breath and on the exhale, release this situation to God for healing and answers. I feel like it's a lot of things y'all don't know. And I feel like in the midst of looking for it, you couldn't find it. But when you stop looking and focus on you, your finances, your situation, your happiness, the shit just going to go boop right in your damn lap when you least expect it. But this damn sneaky shit, some of y'all going to cut somebody off. Y'all comment, let me know. Because that emphasis is strong. You hear me with the K? Strong. Okay? And don't be correcting me because I'm from the South. You put some respect on my name. I'm going to put some respect on it. Respect. R E S P E K. Uh, <laughs> that's the Birdman's uh, the Birdman's edition. Put some respect on it. All right? I love y'all. I was with y'all crazy ass. This is what I have for y'all from the 1st to the 15th of July. Hopefully it resonated. If it does not, I apologize. Maybe you got to catch me mid-month or watch your sun, moon, and rise and watch all three. Um, and your Venus, okay? Um, y'all, but I love y'all, my babies. If you need a person, hit me up. That information can be found in the description, okay? I worked hard for that shit, but y'all better use it, all right? Because I, I had to get all tech-friendly and learn shit for y'all. I love y'all, babies. You worked every minute of it. Mm -hmm. Be happy. You first.